Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel of Conscious History, where we will unveil the hidden truths of the past. In this episode, we're going to look what we can learn from Nobel Prize winner and chemist Marie Klodowska Curie. In life, there have been many Nobel Prize winners, some for their high intelligence when posing mathematical problems, other writing essays to make the world better, and other inventors who created things that can save or improve our lives. Most of them are usually men. What if I told you that a woman won it almost a hundred years ago? That's right, Marie Curie won it in 1903 thanks to her discovery and her studies of her pioneering research on radioactivity. Who was Marie Curie? How did she come to discover radiation? What can we learn from it? All in this I will answer. So don't detach yourself from the screen and let's start the video. So who was Marie Curie and why is she so important among the scientific community? Marie Curie was born in 1876 and was a pioneering Polish-French scientist in the field of radioactivity. She was the first woman to receive a Nobel Prize in 1903 and the only person to win two Nobel Prizes in different disciplines, physics in 1903 and chemistry in 1911. Her groundbreaking discoveries and her fight for gender equality left a lasting legacy in science. Although Marie Curie did not define herself as a feminist, her actions led to a great fight for the right of gender equality. And even more so because we are talking about an environment in which there was a lot of misogyny for centuries. And Marie Curie, thanks to her determination and her integrity with her discoveries, she was able to put a point aside in that silly debate about whether or not women could be in the scientific environment. This was the moment for her to show the world who she really was, while she dived deep into the field of radioactivity. Something that we can learn about Marie Curie is her great intelligence to discover something that no one had noted before. And that is that radiation is impossible to notice. Because it does not have a visible form and you can only know where it is thanks to the complex machines that reach certain levels of radiation. To make such an incredible find, it takes unmatched passion for work and a perseverance to discover something using all the resources in its favor. That is why the figure of Marie Curie is so important both in the scientific field and in the popular culture. Thanks to the great step that Marie Curie has taken, we can thank her for implementation of radiation in the medical field. Because thanks to this procedure, cancer can be cured in some of its phases, thanks to the emission of low levels of radiation in the system. On the other hand, Curie became a symbol of inspiration for women who aspire scientific careers. Her outstanding scientific success and her fight for gender equality in a male-dominated field have motivated generations of women to follow in her footsteps and have contributed to the advancement of women in science. Another thing that we can learn from Curie is the great sacrifice that she made for humanity thanks to her discoveries. Because we are talking about someone who always carried out her research first to make life easier for others. Her commitment to the service of humanity for future generations. She even used her intelligence to use the help in the First World War. As thanks to her knowledge in the field of radiation she was able to heal injuries, cure and prevent the growth of tumors and abscesses, and prevent some incidents with soldiers. Even in the worst and most difficult moments for humanity, this person was present to help. An example for humanity, and of course, for us. One of the fundamental things that we can learn from this scientist is the importance of education in the world. Carrying out these investigations is not easy at all. Much less in a time so far away from us, almost a hundred years ago. And the same tools did not exist to discover incredible things. That is why education generates these type of giant advances in many fields, and specifically the field of radioactivity, where Marie Curie excelled. She deeply valued education and scientific research. She founded education institutions, promoted science education for women, and encouraged the advancement of science. She was even such a pioneer in the field of education that she also became the first woman to teach science at the University of Paris. For the reason that she was appointed professor at the University of Paris in 1906, her legacy reminds us of the importance of investing in education and advancing research to drive progress and innovation. Curie and life and death was very important and her country let her know it in different ways. In addition to her scientific achievements, Curie received numerous honors. She was the first woman to be buried in the Pantheon in Paris. On her own merits and numerous awards, institutions and places have been dedicated in her honor. The sad part about Curie is that she was exposed to radioactivity for a long time without being aware that it would cost her her life many years later. She carried samples with high levels of radioactivity with her in her pocket, and other radioactive substances that Curie carried with her when she was present in World War I. We can draw a conclusion from the small curiosity that it was her own work that ended her life, but at the same time it was something she could not avoid. 
because her passion was to find out everything about radiation made her unable to do anything else. It's like asking a musician to retire from music or a writer to stop making novels. There are people who put out all their passion into a job until the end of the days. And that's what Marie Curie did. Something interesting is that today her books and everything she wrote in Curie notebooks cannot be read or accessed today because they have very high radiation levels. To do so, scientists have to follow a complex process to gain access to these writings. Unfortunately for humanity, in 1943 Marie Curie passed away and it is unfortunate because due to her high exposure to radiation for years, that was what caused her death. We would consider this as a sacrifice for humanity, for the reason that if humanity was not exposed to those levels of radiation, we would not be able to enjoy the benefits that that research promoted decades later. Even in our times, because many of these procedures are still used in current medicine, and also the fact of promoting gender equality inspired millions of women who are today to make a better world. Without a doubt, the story of Marie Curie is one that is worth mentioning. That is what we have done in this video. But the question is for you. Were you previously aware of the life and achievements of Marie Curie? What has impacted you the most in this video? Leave your answer below in the comments. And if you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to see more similar videos and activate the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you when we upload a video. We upload videos regularly. Don't miss it, you will not regret it.